is a difference between you and me. We both looked into the abyss. But when it looked back at us, you blinked. Hi guys, I'm Gravy here, and this is a DC Legends video. In this video, I am going to, well, I'm going to start the Jace Fox series, which is kind of a misnomer because it's not really a series. Basically, what I'm going to do is like introduce what I'm doing to try to get as many frags of Jace as I possibly can. Um, and then I'll like give updates on my videos going forward about how I've done in my progress. My start to this siege has been absolutely trash. It has been horrible. Um... So I'm going to have to make up some ground. And this is, Jace is really one that I want to go after. Um, aside from me actually liking his kit, a lot of people have asked me, like, do you think he's worth it? I mean, it's hard to tell until you try in a lot of cases. Like with certain ones, like he who shall not be named. You read the kit and you're like, okay, well, this is going to be a problem. With Jace, I'm like, I see a lot of potential here. I really do. And I hope it works out well. So I think he will be good. I really do. But I don't have my hands on him yet. So I don't know. This is what all this is about. So basically what I'm going to do is go oh, go through a couple of battles, give my thought processes on what I'm doing in terms of making sure that I maximize the energy. And um, actually, as we go into it, I have 12,000 gems right now, 10,000 for my alliance. Thank you very much. And then doing the daily stuff or whatever just to accumulate gems. Oh, and also the gem blitz, the villain gem blitz, which I only got like 2,000 from. But yeah, so that is what I'm going to go into right now. I think, um, and in fact, what you're going to have to watch me do now in a second is go through a couple of things um, to be sure that I have now drop rates for blue rings. And Dr. Zabaro did this where he, he calculated it. For blue rings, you tend to want to go to the fourth node and you'll get a higher blue ring drop than you would from the fifth node on both the black rings and the white rings. Fourth note gives you more blue rings. Right now I do need white, so I'm going here. But um, yeah, so I'm having to do this because right now what I'm trying to do is I need to complete my dailies. I need to complete my dailies so I can show you guys what I'm doing for my advanced quest to be sure that, uh, advanced missions, however you want to call them, to be sure that I have enough energy for Jace, because what I'm not going to do, and what I think is a terrible idea, is going here and buying this energy. You get a chance, at, I think you get one pack per day, 2,000 gems, 15 energy. You can get 30 energy there about, sometimes a little bit more in a day just by doing it, um, just by completing your missions. So, and that's typically enough. You're not gonna finish World's, uh, world's Finest, but you'll finish with a, a, a good amount of gems. So. Uh, before we get into any of that, and as I like dance around here, I drop DC Legends videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and <laughs> Marvel Future Revolutions videos every Tuesday and Thursday. So please like, mm -hmm. can you guys tell, like, see, I'm drinking tea right now, and maybe I should be drinking coffee. So I'm going to say take two, even though I'm not going to cut this part out. I drop DC Legends videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Marvel Future Revolutions videos every Tuesday and Thursday. So please like, please subscribe. And if you don't like, hit subscribe and hit dislike. I'm okay with that as well. Given how the first, that last 30 seconds went, you probably want to hit dislike. So I'm going to go ahead and go into like one red alert because as you know, you need to complete one red alert in order to get to, this is going to be, uh, um, in terms of red alerts, by the way, complete them every day and then try to find a team or a matchup that you can exploit. And a lot of times you'll see that team multiple times. Riddler, by the way, looks like a beast and has actually genuinely caused me to reconsider what I may do with regards to him after having faced him a couple times. This is an all, all affinity teams. Go for it. Because in that case, all you have to do is match up the affinity that's going to kick the snot out of them and go for it. Killer Frost, Hawk Girl, and then... Um, who else do I want to put in here as a... Ah, uh, let's do Impulse. Why not? Okay. So, yeah, Riddler, I need to reread his kit because I faced him a couple times and he has become a problem. And the issue that I have with Riddler, it was the same thing I was saying before. Whether they're good or not, I don't know. But the one issue that I am going to have with having to decide whether or not I want to deal with Riddler 
is the fact that Jace Fox is also physical affinity, and I'm trying to be as efficient as possible getting Jace Fox and Riddler physical affinity, Jace Fox physical affinity. So the resources I'm saving up for Jace Fox right now, I would it would disturb Jace Fox's progression the second I get him if I dumped him into Riddler. Now I do have 12,000 gems, so maybe I could take Riddler up to 7011. Uh, with about 6,000 gems, depending on where I like kind of where he is right now. But in fact, what I'm going to do, let's go to Riddler real quick because I have to use one X XP mat and I do have to use one gear in order to complete it. So going to Riddler right now, like he's, re uh, he's really underdeveloped on my account. Yeah, level 32, gear, uh, well now gear four. Um, and then I'll use one bit of this on him. But these resources that I'm using on him right now, are resources that I could use for Jace Fox. However, Riddler seems like he's going to be a beast and I'm thinking that I may have to just split uh, the resources amongst the two. All right, so I think I've completed all of the daily missions that I need to. Yes, I have. And so now we'll go into the uh, advanced daily missions or however you want to call them. All right, Hero Frags, first of all. So Hero Frags here, you're going to get to energy, definitely want to get his, get all those frags. In fact, save up those PVP Alliance tokens in case you don't get through red alerts. Getting through red alerts and then doing a little thing, a couple things here and there will typically get you all the frags you need. But um, in case you don't, in fact, let me go ahead and go, I'm gonna have to go back and forth. So forgive me for having to go back and forth, back and forth if the load screens make it a problem. But as you see here, under this uh, PVP energy that I have, I need to go ahead and pick up that. Uh, campaign energy if I need to get 20 frags to be sure that I have enough frags for the siege energy I have this all lined up 9,000 sitting there I'm usually at at the advice of Dr. Zabaro my DC Legends uh, Yoda I was saving that stuff up so that I could use it during raid to get the extra campaign energy to farm more raid enemies raid bosses but now it's going to be sat there on the side for energy in case I need to get frags for that mission or if I need to get some more campaign energy or PVP energy to complete some of the missions so I can get energy for Jace Fox. So I have that energy sitting there. Here, heroic campaign, heroic difficulty. You can go about this two ways. I may go about it the latter way instead of the former way. The former way is you go ahead and complete chapter one and then chapter three because chapter three is going to be the same energy um, usage as it would be let me go ahead and collect this is going to be the same energy usage that it would be as chapter two except you get more resources so if you go to chapter three heroic you see here is 12 i always go for the wonder woman pot node because i think she is one of the best in the game still even though she's only really mid-game viable she's still incredible so i'm stacking those frags just in case i want to get her later and then I can complete 30 heroic missions by doing chapter one and chapter three, and not even all of chapter three. Doing chapter two, it's the same energy usage as chapter three, except you get less resources, so why would I do that? Now, the latter that I was speaking about before is I buy PVP energy for 500 by two of those packs, spending a thousand gems, and then I come up here to chapter eight, and I go through chapter eight because this will give me more green essence. And the best nodes to use, and I do this all in my like huge complete beginner's guide that's like two hours long. I might have to redo that at some point soon. Um, the best nodes to go after in um, heroic, and in fact, back up one second. I'm getting a little bit into the weeds, but this is just so that you would fit. So like even if you're spending those gems to get the energy towards um, Chase Fox that you're spending those gems in the most efficient way to get green essence and to get gear. Now, why am I bringing up gear? I missed something. Chapter seven, the last three nodes on chapter seven give you some of the best drop rates, the second best drop rates in the game for the rare um, level three uh, gear mats. So you have here with bats, this is the level three map where I only have like 96. Uh, quantum field energy that is where you're going to get the best drop rates for quantum field energy um before you get to chapter eight for um zatanna her node it's physical and i'm going to want to do that and that's where you get the in inertron inertron piece sure that's where you get that 
great drop rates there. Well, not great, best in the best in campaign, second best in campaign. And then of course you have uh, John Stewart and John Stewart, ooh, 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 is it this one? Yeah, you have the Chaos Crystal Shard. So these are the three where you're going to be able to get the second best gear drops for those scarce level three gears. The best in the can in campaign is going to be these three nodes. It's going to be Huntress, Green Lantern, it's gonna be Huntress, Green Lantern, and Batman all in a row right there is where you're gonna get the best drops in the campaign mode for those level three scarce gears. The reason why you need those, the reason why I'm bringing that up, the reason why I'm gonna go after them is because it may not be a lot in one day getting like two or three of those gear pieces. However, over the course of two weeks, if I keep doing that like every other day, then I, it, it adds up. So then next, I usually do this Batman node because anecdotally, I'd never really even wrote it down. This node to me gives like the best drops of green essence, like the most of all of them in heroic. And then the last one that I'll do before I just start picking and choosing in between is Black Adam, just because Black Adam, this is the only Black Adam node, it's the rarest frag that you're gonna get next to Wonder Woman, uh, P.O.T., like all those ones who have just one. He's one of the ones that has one, and so I'll go ahead and go for that one as well. So now, that is what I would do. And in fact, today, just because of the video, I'll go ahead and do it. I do have a lot of gems. I'm kind of trying to be scarce on using my gems just because I have a good feeling that, in fact, I'll do it twice. I have a good feeling that I'm going to still need gems even after saving up and everything. That I'm going to need some gems to finish taking Jace. I'm going to do literally from zero to 7011 that day. I might record it. Um, I still have the feeling that I'm going to need some gems in order to do that because it is very, very, very expensive going up to 7011 and even saving up your resources, you still have difficulty getting there right now. So you guys know, I think I need approximately, I think it's like 10.5 million in green essence to go from zero to 7011. Um, it might be a little bit more. I cannot remember exactly. But the idea right now is to stack as much as possible. This is the other issue that I'm going to have with uh, the Riddler. If I'm trying to stack up as much green essence as possible, the Riddler taking up 10 million of that essence, of that green essence, is going to put me at another deficit when I'm trying to take care of Jace Fox. That's a whole lot of what I'm having to think about and consider here. Um, I genuinely thought this video wouldn't be this long, but I guess I'm just really good at talking too much. All right, so, <laughs> um, going into it, so these are the notes that I'm hitting up, like I told you. By that point, I think I have enough to, to cover the 30 that I need to do for the day. Uh, yeah, so I have the 30, and here, that's why I, I need to do it. This gives you eight. Eight Siege Energy. Now, I'm not collecting that right now, because if I collect that right now, I've collected two before, so that means I'm at 12 Siege Energy um, in the event I went ahead and like dumped out, emptied out all of my Siege Energy uh, last night before I went to bed. And so now I'm going to the revenge matches. Hooray. Now in the revenge, oh. in this revenge match, I have Spectre. Don't we love him? Um, Azrael, Black Flash, and Lex. Now, as I said about siege matches, and you're going to see me go into it, I'm going to do this one revenge match, and then I'll do two regular matches just so I can gather that energy. And then with that eight energy plus the three I'm gonna get from another source that I'm gonna show you later, um, I may go back into the revenge. Try to clear your entire revenge board if you can. Oh my goodness. Going back and looking at what we have to deal with in Siege. Now here's the other part of it. It is not worth it, it is not worth it, it is not worth it. If you are doing this and you have less than two bonus tunes. You need at least two bonus tunes in order to make doing a revenge match worth it. I can take out Azrael with Martian Manhunter. They don't have a taunter. Um, but the second I do that, somebody's going to proc. I need, I'm gonna put, oh my goodness, this is garbage. Um, Alan Scott hits hard, so he can take care. He might even be able to take out uh, Spectre or 
or um, Black Flash. Uh, I may, I may, I may, I may need to use, you know what, I might use King Shark. I might use King Shark because King Shark has a stun on his AOE attack, but then there's no one to bleed. And I don't want to get cute here. I'm talking through my entire thought process. Like this is how I do it when I'm, when I'm actually checking for, or when I'm actually going through the matches. So, and I hope you find it helpful. If you don't find it helpful, I'm sorry, but this is like, this is my process. All right, Alan Scott is gonna be in. He hits hard, he shields, he shields the whole team. He's solid. I'm putting Martian Manhunter in because I want that turn meter advantage in case I do not put Black Flash in. Um, however, it just seems to stand to reason to put Black Flash Inspector in because if you're doing PVP, not having Black Flash Inspector in is just at a detriment. But then if I'm taking out, let's say King Shark and Martian Manhunter, then which of these other two am I gonna put in? Parasite? Nope, because then I have an all Mystic Affinity team and uh, Azrael over there that if I don't take care of properly, is going to destroy them. Miss Martian, she does not do damage. Straight up, she doesn't do damage. So I kind of have to keep Martian Manhunter in in order to take out Azrael, which then leads me to believe that the best case is either I have to put in either Black Flash. No, 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 no. Because if I'm using the turn meter, I don't need Black Flash. I probably need Spectre. Because when I kill Azrael, the next thing that's going to happen is Spectre is going to go off and start stunning everyone. All right. So now I have no. I'd have to put Parasite in. Putting Miss Martian in as a support to give strength ups and in ups might be a plus though. Not bringing her for damage. Putting in Parasite, he will strip buffs. He doesn't strip enough to make it worth it on his A3 and his A2, he does attack, he does cause damage. So if I don't get a chance to take care of Azrael, that's gonna make him proc. Um, Spectre has an A2 that doesn't do damage. Alan Scott is going to have to hit and cause damage. Uh, so I'm hoping that, I'm hoping that Martian Manhunter is faster than Alan Scott. Um, Miss Martian also has an A2. I cannot remember their speeds. Oh, but this is, I have to go with two. Her shield, her strength ups and her end ups. Now here's the other plus, not everybody has to live for the revenge match. All right, here we go. I've had a terrible start to the siege. It's terrible. I've lost two matches and I've already lost in a match like two heroes. So that lost me 10 points there and then losing those matches just lost me 10 siege energy. So I have to be careful. I was trying to be careful. Okay, good, 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 good. All right, so if, all right, so if we have, I want to stun first. Black Flash is not going to go before I got to stun first. Because if I do anything else, if I stun anyone else, all right, here's my thought process. So I might stun Black Flash. I was thinking about doing it with Azrael, but if Black Flash is stunned, then he can't reset our turn meters and he doesn't purge buffs, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think he purges buffs, right? And then um, Martian Manhunter with his A3 can kill, if not at minimum, stun. Azrael. Um, I can't stun Spectre because he just purges two buffs right when his turn comes up. All right, so let's go ahead and let's go ahead and stun. Oh, oop, she has the mind link, but that's fine. Like I can just do this, and everybody's okay. Why are you attacking? Oh no, she calls assist. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna make him shield as well because I do not want an attack that is going to set off Azrael. Now Martian Manhunter will get a chance to go. He'll a three on Azrael, kills him, Spectre goes off, he, he, but this is the plus. All right, so, uh, the first, ah, come on. God, I hate you, Spectre. What I need right, it's not gonna happen. See, what I need right now is for Spectre to get a turn, but he has too many stuns on him now. 
Unbel- I want to curse so bad right now. Oh my goodness, I want to curse so bad right now. Spectre is a nightmare. He is a freaking nightmare. So I take out Azrael. And now Spectre goes off. Oh, wait, wait. I did something stupid. I was worried about Spectre purging the stun. However, if Spectre is stunned in that moment, it won't be his turn until later so that he can't go off when Azrael dies. I want to go at that revenge match one more time. Actually, I'm going to try that thing that I just said. And this is the other part of it, too. Sometimes, oh, God, I can't believe I wasted that in it. It's like a terrible start to Siege. There's finally a Siege tune that I want bad enough to, like, go through all these machinations. And, hey, hey, bruh. All right, so I'm going to stun Spectre on this one because he can't purge buffs passively. We're going to use that Mind Link, give us some shield. Thank you, Alan Scott, for attacking passively. We love you for it. That puts Black Flash at a detriment. Now we're going to go ahead and take out Azrael. That's lovely. Spectre goes off, but he doesn't go off in that way because he was stunned. That's a plus. Now we're going to try to take out Black Flash because the last thing I need is for our turn meters to be reset. But if I'm going to take out Black Flash and it's already going to put us down, it's going to set off our Spectre, I might as well try to take out Lex as well. But that was stupid because then I didn't even take out Black Flash. And now they're finna go off on us. All right. So let's go ahead and take out Lex. We can't even take out Lex. And I know Miss Martian didn't finna do it. She does no damage. All right. So let's take out Lex. We're about to have this Spectre go off again and wreck our lives. Oh my goodness. All because I made that one wrong decision. All because I made that one wrong decision. The more conservative decision would have been to attack with the A1, be sure to take out one, but instead I attack with the A3, trying to take out Lex and Black Flash, got too greedy, lost more energy. Do as I say, not as I do. Ugh. All right, last time. And then I'm going to go ahead and do one regular PvP battle. Then I'm going to grab that energy, show the next place to get it. And then I'm going to stop recording so I can say a lot of profanities all at the same time. All right, so here we go. We're going to stun Spectre. And this is the other thing that upsets me. Other thing that upsets me. That, sp- that stun last time went on Black Flash, which was very convenient for us. But this time... Oh, and is Black Flash still going to go off now? Yeah, see? So we still end up screwed. <sighs> still end up screwed so yeah I'm gonna have to say a lot of curse words once this is all over with I have to rebuild the team all the way through all the way through it. alright so before I start saying profanity I have 6 right now uh, how much time do I have on the clock 30 minutes so I need to do one regular battle. Oh my god, I'm so infu- I'm so furious right now. This has been like the worst start to my siege ever. And those other times I was actually trying. So now, rebuilding this siege team because I am in the regular where I'm using five energy. Still want to be conservative. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put in Terra to deal with Harley Quinn. But we we want what but here's the problem here in this in this area of it is I don't want to lose a single tune. I do not want to lose a single tune. And I don't need Harley Quinn going off and ruining my mystics. Thankfully, this team does not have Spectre on it. I'm still like, my head is still whirling on how to take care of that other team. I had it right that one time and I made a mistake. One simple mistake set me back. Unbelievable. One simple mistake. Play conservatively. Like, look at my frustration and my anger and understand. Play conservatively for Siege. It's different. It's a different beast. It's not like Wraith. If you want to if you want to get somewhere. All right. So this one was well handled, was taken care of relatively easily. 
it, as I say, somebody killed Darkseid. Thank you. All right. So now we'll go back. Oh, still upset. Now we'll go back. Okay, this shouldn't, this shouldn't upset me that much. This really shouldn't. It shouldn't. It's a game. It's supposed to be fun. But, all right. So we're going to get these eight. Now I'm down to, yeah. So we're going to get these eight. So I won't over shoot what i what the, the the reason why i'm doing those calculations is because i want that siege clock to constantly be moving constantly be moving constantly be moving now the other thing that i'm not going to be able to do in this video right now is do the next 18 battles so i can collect this three siege energy however by the end of the night what i'll do tonight and what i do for the rest of the day what i'm about to do as soon as i stop recording is go back clear my revenge matches don't worry i'll take care of that match I might even record it and like just post it up later. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get them. Um, then finish all the other PVPs, and then get these three energy. By then, I will have gotten energy because of everything that was stacking up alongside, like stacking up over time while the clock is running. And so then I'll have at least two more PVP matches, maybe three more, without the additional energy that I already have. So that is going to be my approach for the entire Jace Fox siege. I mean, this is basically like just a um, a practical example of how you would approach siege i talk about it a lot i even put out a video on like tips and tricks but this is literally what i'm going to be doing every single day wake up in the morning first thing i do is at least get one match in if i don't have time if i only have like five ten minutes then i'm going to put one five energy match up that way the clock will be continuing to run because siege energy re replenishes not every hour but every hour and 40 minutes if i'm not mistaken so it won't be five hours that it'll be back it'll be like seven and a half eight hours well no no yes about eight hours before it's get it gets back that five energy so it'll leave you like a pretty good amount of time to kind of like find pieces of the day to go through and figure things out so in any case thank you guys for watching Please like, please subscribe, pray for me because I am really upset right now. <laughs> please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you next time.